Just giving and then you receive so much more and so that's what really makes me happy and that's why I've chosen the route that I am pursuing. Because knowing the dedication, the commitment, the sacrifice, the passion, you know, the, uh, you know, the discipline required to go into, you know, not only competing at that level but actually winning because there's so many wonderful women out there. Unbelievable. <laughs> you know, you can't even, you never even dream about it. I had two happily married parents. I had plenty of siblings to play with and I never had a want or a need. Everything that I wanted was provided for me. Everything was handed to me on a silver platter. And all of that completely changed in an instant one day. I came home from school and our house was surrounded by government vehicles and my father had been arrested and he awaited trial for two years where he was held in our county jail where he was also denied bail. And so when I left for school that morning, I had no idea that would be the last time I saw my father for three years. I might have hugged him a little tighter and told him I loved him, but that was hard. It was hard for me because I had to step up and take care of my two younger sisters and my brother, my older brother that was still at home had to step up and really take over our housework and taking care of all of our animals on our farm. And it was a lot to take on. And I was just a middle schooler. I feel misjudged often. I could talk all day about the one-liners that I've gotten this year. So people will say, what do you do? And I say, I'm Miss Virginia full-time. And they say, oh, so you don't work for a year. I'm like, oh, that's incorrect. You try it. <laughs> and then you get the people that are like, oh, well, what do you do? Or they say, oh, is that the one owned by Trump? Or they say, oh, well, you're really beautiful. I see why you won when the way that I look has nothing to do with the reason I'm Miss Virginia. There were many girls at Miss America that could have won, so I knew that it might not be me. I think the disappointment came when I didn't walk away with anything tangible. I wasn't a finalist in, in anything. Um, and just having to say that I had a great experience, and then going on as Miss Pennsylvania, when you have kids at a school ask you, well, did you win Miss America? How did you do at Miss America? Um, it's always kind of a, what do you say? I read this book once, and the author talked about a binary view of racism. Um, and, and she wrote, racist people equal bad people, not racist people equal good people. I'm a good person, so I cannot be associated with racism. And it's not that simple because systemic racism exists. Um, the fact is the Miss America organization was not made for people who look like me. It's pure fact. We weren't allowed to compete until the 70s. So it's insane to think that just by simply allowing us to compete that all of a sudden black people feel equal and safe in this world and that's not the case. People think I should have a boyfriend and that women, if they're pretty, they have to have a boyfriend. Why wouldn't you have a boyfriend? What do you mean? Just because I'm pretty doesn't mean I'm not qualified to do other things. If I wasn't pretty, would you be asking me why I didn't have a boyfriend? So no, I don't have a boyfriend because I don't want to have a boyfriend. Sorry. We're famous. We're going to where you're going to be performing next to Hamilton. Holly, it's happening. I'll just let you guys see me in my full glory. but um. I have like for the past like week I have not been able to get out of bed before like 10 and I'm usually not like that but oh my goodness I am so tired. This is what happens when you try and spray tan yourself. Okay. This is so embarrassing. I went to an appearance looking like this. I can't get the right angle. If I wear the crown they're like 
oh my gosh, what are you doing? Like, you're so, you're a queen. Like, yeah. you're beautiful. You're no longer like a young professional. Right, and their voice is higher and they're giddy and oh my gosh. And then like, and then other times when I'm just wearing this ash, they'll like come up and they'll like smile at me and have a conversation. Then they'll look at my chest and they'll be like, oh, oh, who are you? Like, oh, 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 Miss Mary. Like, oh, you know, like they have the reactions. We compete for our Miss America Woo! interview. here to welcome the troops back on an honor flight. Made it to Boston. Oh, this makeup and outfit is brought to you by Dana Marie's luggage and Gabby's trunk. Okay. Harvard grad, but she's not the best <laughs> golf cart driver, but it's gonna be okay. I'm a quick learner, <laughs> so okay, I'm not looking at the road. <laughs> Every year, Charities Angels co-hosts Play for Eloise, which benefits the Foundation to Fight HABC, which is a rare brain disorder that affected one of our community members named Eloise. Y'all, I think I'm gonna cry. Sing one, two, three, four, three, two, one. Sorry, I just had to record this because it's so adorable. Look at everybody putting their hats on. Everybody's putting their shiny hats on. Cause no one can do it like we do it, like we do it, like we do it. Cause no one can do it like we do it, like we do it, like we do it. We got 